Good morning, everyone. Um, we're doing something slightly different today. We've been asked a few questions by some children on the internet, and we thought we'd answer them for you and just tell you a little bit about our life living out here. Okay, Alfie and Henry. Okay, your first question was, what do you eat? Um, we eat the same food as you do sometimes, but we do also have a few different traditional foods. Uh, one of them is a poiki, um, which is a stew, but it's cooked on a fire in a three-legged pot that kind of looks like a cauldron. Okay. Um, what else, Kerry? Can you think of something else we uh, eat? We have a, a boti that is it's a, a Cape Indian, it's a Cape curry basically, um, with like an egg topping and... That's delicious, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. 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 What else? And there's also a bunny chow. A bunny chow? Oh, Kerry, you can tell us about the bunny uh, chow. Bunny chow, yeah. The, so it's basically a entire piece of bread that's not been sliced, and you hollow out all the soft part, except for the crust. But in the inside crust, you then have a mince, a bit like mince from a spaghetti bolognese. Um, sometimes you can have, you go to certain, like, uh, restaurants and you get it's a, it's actually quite spicy some of the times because they put pepper and stuff all into it so. okay and what about some more natural food um some of the locals um harvest the pani worms they are like caterpillars but they um well they, they are caterpillars they are caterpillars they eat and live on the pani tree and what the locals do is they harvest them off of the tree and they squeeze the guts out and then they dry them and they eat them after they've been dried for a few days so that's also a very traditional food for them okay and we have lots of bries as well don't we which yeah. is like your barbecues okay All right another question where do you get your drinking water from Harry? can you tell me uh, we get our drinking water from a it's kind of like a well but it's a more westernized style of a well it's basically a, probably a pipe about that sort of diameter uh, that's drilled down into the ground until you hit water. Uh, some, some of them can be as shallow as 20 meters, some can be as deep as 200 meters in some cases. And so you, you then have a, a, like a, a pipe about that sort of thickness uh, with a pump attached to the end and that gets dropped all the way down to the bottom and that will pump water out of there uh, into, a tank. In, into a dojo tank, uh, which yeah, two hundred and fifty liters up to ten thousand liters, I think which some of them comes are. Down to the house. And then you, depending on obviously how high that is, you then either need a pressure pump, and, and so yeah, that's how we get our water. Yeah, it's, it's a house. Called it's a called hole. it's called a borehole. Great, thank you, Kerry. Uh, do you find another question? Do you find bugs in your bed? Yes. Even in your hair. I woke up with a scorpion in my head one day. Aha. Uh -huh. What do we sleep with? Uh, we sleep with mosquito nets. Well, most people sleep with mosquito nets. Um, to keep mosquitoes to out. Keep mosquitoes out and yeah. out. And stuff. Yeah. Why do we keep mosquitoes out? So they don't give us malaria. Right. Okay. Yep. Where does your toilet water go? That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Can Kerry um, explain that one? <laughs> Yeah, so basically what we have here and what most people have is, well, especially on, in the more rural areas like this, is a septic tank. Um, and obviously your cities and your towns, you've got municipal ways of getting rid of your waste and stuff. Where out here we have a, a fenced drain. And so that works and you've got a hole dug in the ground with rocks all filled in it. And you then have that covered over with tin and then soil compacted on top of that again. And basically your waste goes into all the rocks and your, the water drains away back into the soil. And then all the waste decomposes and falls away into the soil as well. Okay, cool. Thanks, Kerry. Did you go to school? I think yes. you still do go to school. <laughs> you haven't left school, have you? Um, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Yes, so we do go to school. Um, we now go to school in Hoodsbred. It's a school in the bush, so it's a bush school, and it's called Southern Cross. 
Um, but before that, uh, our mum homeschooled us here on a hooky. So, yeah, and got distracted a lot by animals walking past. Yeah. yeah, yeah. we used to be at school and sometimes herds of elephants would walk past it and we'd go out sometimes watching them. Sometimes even wild dogs. Yeah, sometimes we weren't even hunting for wild dogs. Okay. Yeah, I think that still happens at school. It yeah. does. It still happens at your school where you yeah. are now, your bush school. Yeah, it's an amazing school. Okay, where do you get your electricity from? Um, I explain this. Uh, we basically get our electricity from ESCOM, which is a government-owned uh power plant that powers South Africa um, but yeah they are in debt to the government several th several million if not a couple of billion rand um, lots of money so yeah basically lots of money and so basically we get power cuts every now and then which is it's called load shedding, load shedding uh, which is caused by a surge in the amount of electricity and there can be up to seven stages in a day. So when it gets there, it's obviously an hour at a time. And you probably have an hour on, an hour off, an hour on, an hour off. We generally only get up to maybe a max of three. Mm -hmm. Down in the Cape, I get more. Um, but, yeah, it, it's, they, they do it to, because obviously because there's more electricity being drawn at that particular time. But also... There is, um, they they say they need to repair stuff, which yes they do, but they also sometimes say they need to. They can't burn the coal because it's wet. Okay. But it's not actually fully true because you can still burn wet coal. Okay. All right. Um, anything else you'd like to add? Tell them a little bit about your life here. Anything else you can think of? Mm, no, not really. Not really. No? Um, it's quite cool, isn't it, if you go to sleep at night and then all of a sudden you hear, what do you hear sometimes outside your window? Calling right outside your window, yeah? Yeah. That's quite awesome, isn't it? That's well, for her, yes, because she's on, she's on mm -hmm. her windows facing the garden side. For me, sometimes, uh, yeah. He's facing the outside. I, I've got barely no, I've, I've got a, a pane of glass between me and the animals, that's it. <laughs> Sometimes, so. It makes life interesting, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, we've had a lion actually make a kill right outside our office window, haven't we? Right in the middle yeah. of the night. Yeah. And mummy, dis I, I disturbed it, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. I still remember that. Yeah, and it revved and, and hit the pane of glass with its nose, smashed the glass. Well, it didn't actually break the glass, thank goodness. But uh, yeah, that wasn't fun. That was quite interesting. Anyway, any more questions? Please post them, write to us comment, send us a video like Alfie and Henry did. Uh, we'd like to hear from you. Cool. Bye. Bye. Bye.